What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I didn't know if I was going to be making one all the way up until New Year's, but here I am. I am in North Carolina on vacation and we are staying in the beautiful mountains. I will show you guys the views in just a minute, but I wanted to show you guys a little thrift haul that I've had since I've been here. We've been here for two days and uh, uh, throughout going to a couple different places, we went to a little tubing spot. We had to go to a grocery store. I just was Googling um, thrift stores in the area and we happened to be finding some on the way home and on the way to certain places. So we stopped and I found some really good stuff. So I want to share it with you guys and just show you that there's money to be made just about anywhere. And so without further ado, I'm going to go into the clothing first and then I will get into the shoes, but I'm excited about both. So let's get started. All right, so the first day we were here, we actually went to the grocery store to pick up some groceries. And in the same plaza as the grocery store, there was a Play-Doh's closet. So I ran in and I found a couple of good things. So let's start with that. So first off, I found this women's extra small Patagonia, like a deep pile fleece. And this is, this one's really nice. It says it's made in the USA. I don't know the age of these, um, but I know Patagonia does well. And I rarely ever find it in Florida. So this was a really nice piece to find, probably looking at about 60, 60 bucks or so on that. Next up, this was the best of the three pieces I got there uh, for clothing. This is a men's large Patagonia cinchilla. The colors on it go crazy. And uh, these types of uh, Patagonia sweaters can sell for a lot of money. I even spoke with um, a girl on Instagram, Amber, if you're watching this, shout out to Arbitrage with Amber. She's the Patagonia queen. But uh, she told me that she thinks I can get anywhere from 100 to 125 for this piece. And so, yeah, I don't know. I might keep it. Probably not because it doesn't really get cold enough in Florida to make it worth uh, keeping for myself. But definitely a cool piece. Third was this Patagonia piece. This is, I'll have to look up the name and put it up on the screen. I think it's called ProTech or, or Pro Tool or something like that, um, Am as Amber told me. But this is um, a really nice one as well. And it is the like quarter snap uh, maroon one. And this one I actually already sold on Instagram for $60 to a friend. Robin, if you're watching this, thank you for your support. But uh, yeah, this one's going to be going out to Robin. She saw it on my Instagram because I shared it on there. And yeah, gonna be shipping that out to her, hopefully before I even leave here. And then at that same Play-Doh's closet, I also got this pair of Hoka One One Speed Goat 3 hiking shoes. These were in super clean condition. They were 20 bucks on the bottom, so I couldn't say no to that. And uh, these are a really good size. They're nine, men's nine and a half. Uh, really clean, no flaws, no rips or tears. And so this was an easy pickup. I love selling Hoka's and the fact that the first store that I walked in in North Carolina had a pair of Hoka's and three Patagonia's. I was freaking out. So yeah, that was the first stop. And uh, now we'll go on to some thrift stuff. So we were on our way to Sugar Mountain yesterday to take the boys ice skating and Asher actually had to go potty. And without plan, without mapping or anything, I kid you not, within probably two minutes of him saying he had to go potty in the car, there was a Salvation Army on the side of the road. So why not? I killed two birds, two birds with one stone. Asher got to go potty and I got to thrift for about 10 minutes. And so I came away with two things in that store. It was a teeny tiny little Salvation Army, but it was awesome. I got these camouflage Carhartt pants right here. And these are awesome. I love selling Carhartt. They're in great shape. Um, and they just are super clean, no flaws. They've got like the real tree camo, uh, graphic on them right there. It says real tree right here, but Carhartt, nice size men's 34 by 34. These are, I believe vintage cause they say made in the USA. I'm not a super expert on Carhartt tags, uh, but made in the USA usually is a sign that they're more vintage than not. And so these were, I think $4 and 49 cents. So that was a really nice pickup Carhartt pants that should sell for probably 40 or more. Uh, and then there was a rack as I was leaving, there was a rack that came out. And so I decided to check and lo and behold, <laughs> I found another Patagonia, uh, quarter, uh, quarter snap fleece, whatever these are called a women's extra small again, and nothing crazy on this one. It's just your typical like white color, but I'm not going to complain about Patagonia. This was five bucks. And so for another Patagonia piece uh, to find at a thrift store in North Carolina, I mean, I was going crazy. I couldn't believe it after finding the three at Plato's Closet and then finding that one. Then we went to a Goodwill 
on our way home from the the mountain from Sugar Mountain because uh, we were looking for a portable DVD player for the boys to watch a movie because the one we bought wasn't working and we actually ended up finding one for five bucks which was awesome and so we stayed and thrifted for a little bit and got a little bit of a haul so I'll show you guys that so I found this torrid super soft plush uh, I think it's called like a tunic a women's tunic it's got the uh, like little neck type deal in the, the pockets for like where a hoodie is right here I don't know much about torrid but I know that it sells well this piece sells for about 30 bucks brand new it was four dollars so I should probably be able to get 20 to 25 dollars out of it nothing crazy but my whole goal with buying stuff was to as much as I could try to pay for this trip even though we had already put away money for this trip my goal was if I could thrift and I could find profitable items to pay for a majority of the th trip I could first of all write this off as a business expense but second of all I could use those profits or calculated profits to pay for this trip so uh, you guys let me know in the comment section how you think I did so far we're only on day two okay I got two of these these are uh, women's Carhartt flannels nothing crazy these were four dollars um, I got two of them as you'll see uh, with the little Carhartt logo on the pocket there's the blue and pink one and then there's this like green and blue one they're the same size and so obviously the same person donated them women's small which is gonna be a little bit of a tougher sell uh, but I will wait for the right buyer and hopefully they'll bundle both of these and buy them both I'm thinking probably somewhere around like the $20 mark per per flannel maybe that's a little overpriced I didn't even comp them because they were super cheap next up I got a newer age um, champion reverse weave this is a newer modern tag I believe like 2010 uh, but it's a champion reverse weave nonetheless and it's a Clemson uh, which is a great college for this kind of stuff these are really popular uh, with the newer generation like having the reverse weave like the, the sleeve and the way that the reverse weaves are designed it's really popular to have and then this champion there should be the logo on the sleeve somewhere uh, but anyway nice little uh, champion reverse weave uh, sweatshirt nice to find that kind of stuff my wife actually found this and I have I didn't even look up comps I believe this is called a capoline this is Patagonia as well this was four bucks uh, but and you can see the little Patagonia logo right there uh, it's just a little spell out this is a newer age piece and the tag is kind of faded but it's a capoline I believe it's like a dry fit almost like under undershirt that you would wear to help keep you warm when you're hiking and stuff so not a bad little piece I've sold one or two of those before in the past should do pretty well next up is a pair of Carhartt this is this is a combination now of two different goodwills that we stopped at one was we had an hour wait for our dinner reservation last night and there was literally a goodwill uh, a third of a mile away and so I went in there and found some stuff too I uh, found a nice pair of men's khaki Carhartts right here this is the uh, like the tan colorway size 32 by 32 relaxed fit um, again Carhartt is another one of those brands that I just love to sell I found a new with tags Carolina uh, Tar Heels hoodie. This is on a champion tag, and this is a men's XL. Brand new with tags. You gotta love that. It was tagged like $39 brand new. So I feel like this is probably an easy $25 to $35 bucks, uh, to the right buyer. Super clean, no flaws, should sell fast. Next up, another pair of Carhartt pants. I guess it's just one of those. I guess it's just one of those areas where they're popular, or I'm just pretty good at thrifting these I don't know uh, but really nice Carhartt pants again uh, these ones are not vintage uh, but in good condition should bring me some easy profits okay, moving on to the shoes I got one more piece that I'm gonna save because it's a little bit different moving on to the shoes I'll just show you these because they're probably my favorite pair that I thrifted and the most profitable item probably other than maybe the Patagonia Cinchilla but these Hoka One One Toa Sky event boots uh, these are in amazing condition I paid four dollars and 49 cents for these and I should be able to pull somewhere between a hundred and hundred and twenty dollars for these boots right here this was a crazy find in a very very small goodwill super clean no flaws I couldn't believe that these were sitting on the shelf next up is just a nice pair of keen waterproof hiking shoes uh, these are the dry whatever they're called so green hiking colorway good condition uh, 
nice bottoms, no wear and tear really. So all of the shoes that I got at every Goodwill, which was crazy, was like $4.49 to $5. So I didn't pay more than $5 for any pair of shoes. Next up is this pair of G Defy men's shoes right here. G Defy is a great little bolo brand if you're not familiar with it. I have sold multiple pairs of these and these ones have like the Vero Shock written on the side, which is something I've never seen before. But these are super clean and excellent condition. Gravity Defier is actually the brand, uh, but really good condition. I should probably pull somewhere between 50 to 60 bucks for these. Next up, I got two pairs of Allen Edmonds shoes at one thrift store. And the two brands are the Mc McNeil and then Mactar McTarish or something like that. Either way, they're like the Cordovan, uh, round toe, almond toe type dress shoes, loafers, Oxfords, whatever you want to call them. But when I looked up comps on these two models, they uh, sell for somewhere between like 60 to to $100. So these should pull in some really good money for me. Here is the other pair of Allen Edmonds. Very similar in style, but these are the McTavish. Uh, so very similar in style again, but a little bit different. Should still pull good money from them. Next up, I got a pair of Dansko shoes. I don't know what these are called, but uh, Dansko always sells well for me. And these are like women's slip-on sandal clog type shoes. Um, they're a little worn on the bottoms, but I should still be able to pull 25 to 35 bucks for these, I think, uh, depending on the model. I will look them up, but at this store, I didn't have much signal, so I just grabbed them. I got a really nice pair of Reebok CrossFit uh, shoes. These are the ones that are built with the Kevlar technology, Nano Weave Adapt. And I don't know if these are like the CrossFit 4s or the 5s or whatever. But I just sold a pair of these right before I left for my trip on Poshmark for $49 in a women's size. And so for $49, I knew that these could sell for around the same price. So a nice pickup. I got a pair of Brooks GTS 18s. Super clean. Very good tread on the bottom. Brooks is usually an always all day pickup for me in this condition. Especially at this $4 to $5 buy cost. I'm kind of shook at these prices. I may have to move up here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really nice colorway. These should sell easily for about 40 bucks. Lastly in the shoe department are these women's Allegria. Uh, if you don't know Allegria, it's a great little brand that makes these like slip-on sandal um, type shoes. I don't even know what you call these. These were a really big size for a women's shoe. However, I've sold Allegria's before and uh, you can tell the little like butterfly logo on the bottom is one of the things that you can tell, but this style of shoe as well. A lot of people sleep on this brand. I learned it from my buddy dealing with Dalton, so shout out to you. And uh, this was just a nice colorway, super clean. They almost look like they've literally never been worn. Uh, so I picked these up for $4.49, and I should be able to turn it into probably about $35 to $45. All right, so that's the thrift store haul from so far. I got one more item that I want to share with you guys. And I was actually in the car with my wife on the way to the grocery store when um, I was on Facebook Marketplace. I had changed my location from where I live to the city in North Carolina that we're staying in. And I just started doing some searches and I came across a listing for $25.00. And I messaged the buyer, offered him 20 and he said he would take it. And it just so happens that the restaurant we ate at last night was literally like three minutes away from his house. So after we ate, I drove to this guy's house on Facebook Marketplace at like 9 o'clock last night and picked this up. A nice, warm and cozy, fleece-lined, vintage Patagonia windbreaker for $20. This is probably a $60 to $80 jacket. Fits me perfect if I do say so myself. But uh, yeah, this one is true vintage Patagonia and I will show you. Hopefully I can get this in the shop. But this one has a tag that says made in the USA on it. Uh, on this older tag like this. This is definitely a true vintage piece. This is probably 90s. And the fleece lining and everything on it is just in amazing condition. It's super clean and it fits me perfectly. So I'm probably going to rock it for a little bit while I'm up here and then I'll sell it. But yeah, so check it out. How's this? Speaking of views, let me show you this view before we end this video. This is what I'm looking at on the back deck of my Airbnb right here. And although it's not snowing and we are slightly sad because of it, this is our view and it is just beautiful. And it wraps all the way around the house. 
to the woods. There's no one around us. This is our cute little Airbnb right here. And we are just living the life up here. We've got five more days and we're just gonna have a lot of fun. Let's see, they locked me out. I was gonna show you the kids, but they're in there having a great time. Asher's watching a movie. Zeke's helping mommy cook lunch. And then we're gonna go tubing later. So we got a little hot tub right here with the view overlooking the mountains. And uh, this is what life's all about. This is the reason I became a reseller so that I can have the freedom to be able to do this kind of stuff whenever we want. We saved up for it. We paid for it in advance. And now I can thrift while I'm here and work, if that's what you want to call it. I can even use this wood deck right here as a background and take pictures for listings and list stuff. And so who knows, man, I'm just living the life up here. We're having a great time. And so that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts about my haul in the comment section. If you live in North Carolina, do you find this stuff all the time or was this a fluke for me just being here randomly? And thanks again for watching. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace money.